our first day, the beginning of a long voyage, only in America, 1987, to the inland waterways of the United States. 24 years ago, my friends and I navigated a 17-foot Boston whaler from Fort Lauderdale to New York to Chicago to New Orleans by water. What we discovered on this voyage can only be defined as the enduring American spirit. So I wrote a book. But many are saying the America in the book doesn't exist anymore. Hounded by the unthinkable, we decided to find out. cab from the airport to downtown Norfolk? You just don't have time. I'm trying to call one of my employees use their personal car to take you there. We take Greg with us. We go drop the boat. Then one guy goes and drops the car at the airport and takes the cab back. Would it be well, easier? Please could take my picture. <laughs> I remember these days. The boat's not even in the water yet, and whatever expectations I had are proven to be not even close. There's so much going on, staying on schedule has become virtually impossible. Unlike the first trip, we have two additional boats traveling with us. Tom and Cherry Hine from Denver. Tom, a dentist, hasn't taken a vacation in 30 years. And he's already shown his nervousness. This yellow, this light blue could all be trouble. Well, it's 22, 29. Yeah, guys. Bad, can I give you a hug? Yeah. Then we have the Jordans from small town Mississippi. They showed up two days late and an hour before launch. They're just a wild card. John, how much life saving gear do you have? No one could believe the condition of their boat. And that was before Jack suggested I push the side of the hull and said, she ain't even cured yet. What have I got myself into? How far is he riding with it? Whole way. He's going whole way. <laughs> In that boat. Oh, in America. <laughs> <laughs> but as we drive to the launch ramp, to put the boat in the water for the first time, anxiety turns to exhilaration, as I realize I've had this feeling before, 24 years ago. But it's around this corner, we have no idea, because we've never been there. And what's around the corner after that, we have no idea. Either. Just like then, we don't know what's around the next bend in the river. We have no idea who we're going to meet, and we have no idea what this adventure will throw at us. But I do know this, like the critics said about the book, the best writers in Hollywood couldn't make this stuff up. And the spirit of America, we think it's still out there. They do say that Blackbeard was here the last six months of his life. And, uh, you know, we all hope that the treasure is here, although I think the treasure lies in the, in the land. But the people are so welcoming, so friendly, and uh, look out for one another. It is a, a benefit, being an American citizen, just being in this country that other people don't have. You, we can, like you said, make a plan. Regardless of you know we achieve it or not, we can have that that mindset, would not be possible in other countries. So I, I dig that. So we're on our way. Our 19-foot Boston whaler, Spirit Seven, and my unorthodox but faithful crew, Marty the dog Burke, who I've known since fourth grade, my best friend since age 12. John J.B. Birch, and me, I'm John Marisu, captain of this enterprise. We picked up a few friends along the way, and together we will board our small but trusty vessels and navigate 1,400 miles of American waterways from Norfolk to Boston to search for our American spirit. <laughs>